this is a continuation of our lecture for the topic leveling. Since all instruments are subject to errors, checking of instrument, especially on auto level, is important. So, the main error that happens in a level instrument is where the line of sight is not parallel to the horizontal line of sight of collimation. So, in this case, our levels are not correct and there is a test that we use in checking the level and it is called the two-peg test. This test determines the amount of error and if an error occurs, uh, we have to notify the technician for that instrument. Two-peg test is used for checking automatic or dumping levels by comparing two sets of readings from two unequal lengths at the same on the same points. So the accuracy of the automatic or dumpy level can be calculated. The purpose of the two-peg test is to check the accuracy of the auto or dumpy level while it is in use. If the auto or dumpy level accuracy is acceptable for the task at hand, then we can complete the task. If the auto or dumpy level accuracy is not accept acceptable, then it will be needed to be adjusted or calibrated before using it again. So how to check the level in two-peg test? We have two methods used. The first one is the alternate peg method where we put the instrument in between the two stations or the two points. So actually the point we are referring to are called the pegs. So if we have here an approximately 50 meter apart stations A and B, we put the instrument at midpoint and we assume that the error or the error in the line of sight of, of the instrument is uh, upward. So if the line of collimation of the instrument is upward, we have a positive error here. We have an error here and error there. Since uh, the instrument is at midpoint between the station, the, er the error on the rad reading will just be equal. That's why if we have a rad reading here at point A, which is 1.540, and on rad reading point B is 1.268, when we project the, the point horizontally on the bottom of point A and when we try to subtract the rad reading we will be able to determine the difference in elevation so if we try to correct the the, the value for the rad reading at point A we will just subtract the error okay so 1.540 minus the error here for the correct uh, measurement for uh, point B, we have 1.268 minus the error in order for us to have the correct red reading at point B if the instrument is at the midpoint. So, subtracting the red reading at A which is 1.540 minus T e minus the quantity of 1.2. 268 minus E is equals to 0. So, apply that and the error will be cancelled out. Minus 1.268 plus E equals to 0. Uh, e is cancelled out or, uh, sorry, it's not equals to 0 but equals to the difference in elevation, delta H. So, therefore, the delta H is equals to the uh, difference of 1.540 and 1.268 or we can simply subtract the two red reading on the two stations because the error will just be cancelled out okay so we have difference elevation of 0.272 next procedure is move the instrument approximately 3 to 5 meters behind one of the pegs Actually, it's not just 
3 to 5 meters. It depends on what the surveyor wants, on the distance he wants to put the instrument near one of the two stations. So, here in this example, uh, the, the surveyor used distance of 4 meters from station A. So, we have here a distance of 4 meters. And we have a rad reading at this point for station A, which is 1.621, and for station B, 1.092. Now, based on the rad reading, or based on the line of collimation of our instrument, since we assume here that the erroneous line of sight is going upward, we will have an accumulated error at station A and station B, which is not the same. So they, they are not the same. We assign error 1 here. And this distance here, this is error 2. Now, how can we determine these errors? So based on, on the previous slide, we have already determined the difference in elevation, which is 0 0.272. Then, from, th from that, we can take advantage of the given uh, rad reading, which is this one and that one. So, as you can see, we can form here right triangles. Right triangle here, a larger right triangle, and a smaller right triangle on station A. So, since the line of collimation and line of sight are just the same, uh, it means that we can form similar triangles here. The smaller triangle and this larger triangle from the instrument. So, from that, we can take advantage of these similar triangles and use the legs of the triangles and equate them. So, Using the principle of similar triangles, okay. we will equate the ratio of the distances of the legs of the triangle. So, the horizontal distance of the smaller triangle is this one, which is 4 meters. And the other one, the larger, is... 54 because the distance between the two station is 50 meters plus the distance from point A to the instrument, which is 4 meters. So first, 4 meters divided by error 1, which is this one, and it is equals to 54 meters divided by error 2. So let me just draw the smaller triangle, which is 4 meters, error 1. The larger triangle, uh, 54 meters, that's error 2. Now, cross-multiply, we have 4E2 equals to 54E1. So, divide both sides by 4, we have 54E1 divided by 4. Therefore, E2 is 27 over 2E1. This is equation one. So, that's the first equation. So, we need another equation so that we can use these variables error 1 and error 2. So, let's find another uh, way to solve the errors. So, basing on the figure, if this is the line of sight, the correct horizontal line of sight from the, the instrument, to point B, say this one, then if I draw another horizontal line from point A because point A has lower elevation, okay, so, di ba, ma, po project niya yung 
papunta dun sa difference in elevation. So, if these are horizontal lines and are parallel, this distance, this vertical distance here, is just equals to the vertical distance here. So, how to compute that vertical distance? That vertical distance is, for on the left side, is just equals to the correct rad reading at A. So, the rad reading is 1.621. Just subtract the error, which is error 1. On the other side, in order to determine this vertical distance, if this is 1.092, which is erroneous, we have to subtract error 2 here. So, 1.092 minus error 2, ang makukuha lang natin distance niyan ay ito. So, let's add 0 0.272 or the uh, difference in elevation. So, that's the total vertical distance at this side. So, we can now have an equation by simply equating these vertical distances the left side and on the right side. So, I will use this one. 1.621 minus error 1 is just equals to 1.092 minus error 2 plus 0 0.272. So, make an equation again. Transpose error 2 on the right side. Uh, on the left side, error 2 is equals to 1.0. 0 0.92 plus 0 0.272 minus 1.621 plus error 1. Simplify. We will have negative 0 0.257 plus error 1. This is equation 2. Now we can now substitute uh, the value in equation 1 to equation 2. So, substitute na natin. Substitute uh, 1 in equation 2. We will have 27 over 2 error 1 is equals to negative 0 0.2257 plus error 1. Then, uh, transpose 27 over 2 error 1 is equals to uh, minus minus error 1 is equals to negative 0 0.257 so subtract 27 over 2 minus 1 12.5 uh, 12.5 e1 is equals to negative 0 0.257 divide both sides by 12.5 12.5 Okay, just right here, error 1 is equals to negative. Negative 0 0.02056. So, this is error 1. Now, nag negative yung error 1 natin, which means that are assumed direction or the assumed error which is going upward for the line of collimation is incorrect it means that the error is going downward so it's okay uh, we can use this value that is negative because the the error that we that is negative can correct the the red reading at any point then can now solve error 2 I just right here by substituting error 2 is 27 over 2 times negative 0 0.02056 we will e2 therefore is negative 0 0.27756 so in computing the correct rad reading for A and B, uh, it is not necessary to draw another figure since our errors are negative. 
uh, we can simply use the assume drawing on our initial computation we'll just use that and substitute all the values in errors with the negative value so here's our errors e1 and e2 negative 0 0.02056 and negative 0 0.27756 to compute the correct reading at a with an assumption that our uh, line of collimation is upward uh, we will subtract error 1 on 1.621 so we will have an answer of 1.64156 for the correct red reading 1.092 minus e2 is equals to 1.36956 so that's your answers Sample number 2, we have a worded problem for two big test. A dumpy level was tested whether the line of sight is truly horizontal when the bubble is at the center by using an alternate peg method. The level was set up midway between points A and B 100 meters apart and the red reading are 3 and 2 meters respectively. The instrument was then transferred to a point C which is in line with points A and B but not in between A and B, with A nearer than B. Rad reading were taken at A and B to be 2.75 and 1.5 meters respectively. The distance from C to A is 20 meters. What should be the reading at B with the instrument still at C so that the line of sight will be truly horizontal? So it is required here to determine the rad reading at B with the instrument still at point C. So first let's draw the figure when the instrument is midway at A and B. So let's identify first which point has a lower elevation based on the red reading the one that has a greater rad reading, greater value for the rad reading has the lower elevation compared to the lesser one. So, the rad reading at A is 3 meters which means point A has a lower elevation. So, we can now draw the figure. Let's say this is point A. Then, I will put a peg there which is this one. Then, let's find point B, let's say going upward, sloping upward, this is point B, then I will put another peg there, or another rod, which is this one. Now, place the instrument midway. Okay, this is the midpoint. So this is the leveling instrument. Now, let's draw the horizontal line of sight, the correct horizontal line of sight. Okay, this one. And the line of collimation of the instrument, which is erroneous. Here, uh, I am going to assume that the line of sight is upward. So you can assume that the instrument is going downward. But I will assume that, is, that it is going upward. This one. And another. That one. So, they are equidistant since we put or well, we set up the instrument midway between the stations therefore their errors are equal now if I am going to determine the difference in elevation which is this one okay so I'm going to project a horizontal line from point A can just simply determine 
the difference in elevation by simply subtracting the rad reading at A, which is 3 meters, and rad reading at B, which is 2 meters. Okay? Because when, when we are going to make another e an equation equating the vertical distance on the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation, we can write it by 3 meters equals to 2 plus delta H. So, difference in elevation is just the difference of the two rad reading when we put the instrument midway, points A and B. So, the difference in elevation is already determined, which is equals to 1 meters. Next, we place the instrument at point C. Okay. Instrument at point C, and it's stated there that it is 20 meters from point A. So, I will draw the figure again. Now, I will place the instrument 20 meters from point A. See, this is the distance of 20 meters. Distance from A to B is 100 meters. Horizontal distance. Okay. So, set up the instrument again. This point. Let's see, this is the instrument. Right there. Then, draw a horizontal line. For the correct line of sight. Okay. Again. Then for the erroneous line of sight or the line of collimation, we assume an upward error. Okay. That one. Let me let me exaggerate that one. Let's exaggerate that. the line of sight. So that we can see the errors. So there are errors here at point A and point B. Let's assign error 1, error 2. When we take the rad reading at station A, so actually we can make a table later, but we can directly draw the figure based on the problem, which is 2.75 for the rad reading at A. This one, uh, from the line of collimation, to the surface of point A, this is 2.75. Then 1.5 on point B from the line of collimation that hits the rad. So this is the rad reading, 1.5. So these are er erroneous values. Again, take advantage of the right triangles formed by this line of sights and line of collimation. Then Let's equate the ratios. Okay. We have 20 meters divided by error 1 is equals to uh, the total horizontal distance from the instrument to point B is 120 meters. So, 120 meters divided by error 2. Okay. So, we can make another equation. Cross multiply. We have 20E2 equals to 120E1. Divide both sides by 20. Error 2 is equals to uh, 6E1. That's your equation 1. For equation 2, again, equate the vertical distances on the left side, okay, from the line of sight to the surface of point A, okay, it's just equals to 2.75 minus error 1. And right here on the right side, okay, 1.5 minus error 2. Ito yan. 1.5 minus error 2 plus the difference in elevation. So, we equate this vertical distances. We have... 2.75 minus error 1 is equals to 1.5 minus error 2 plus delta. Now, transpose error 2. 
is now equals to 1.5 minus 2.75 error 1 plus delta H plus error 1. Difference elevation is already determined, which is 1 meter. So, 1.5 minus 2.75 plus 1 plus E1. The equation number 2 is equals to negative 0 0.25 plus E1. This is equation 2. Substitute equation 1 on equation 2. 1 in 2 where e2 is 6e1 so 6e1 equals to negative 0 0.25 plus e1 so we already have one unknown 6e1 uh, minus e1 is equals to negative 0 0.25 okay 5 e1 is equals to negative 0 0.25 Divide both sides by 5. Okay. E1 therefore is equals to negative 0 0.5, I guess. Ah, no, sorry. It's uh, negative 0 0.05. Okay, wait lang. 0 0.05. Now, substitute the value on error 2. Uh, error 2 using equation 1 is equals to 6 e1 6 times negative 0 0.05 is error 2 is equals to 6 times 0 0.05 negative negative 0 0.3 so here are the errors we have a negative value which means uh, wrong assumption but we can already use that on our figure. Okay? Don't change the figure. Just use the negative value for error. So, going back again on the figure, we have an error 1 of negative 0 0.05. And error 2 is equals to 0 point, negative 0 0.3. So, to determine the correct rad reading, this one, uh, just subtract 2.75 by error 1. And for the correct rad radium of uh, station B or point B is 1.5 minus error 2. So, let's write down correct rad reading at A with instrument at C. Uh, 2.75 minus error 1. Okay, write again. Negative 0.05. So, the answer is 2.8 for the correct rad reading at A. For the correct rad reading at point B, we have 1.5 minus error 2. 1.5 minus negative 0 0.3, uh, we will have. 1.8 so that's the final answer 1.8 which is required so next for the second method of two peg test here are the procedure on the ground we have two stations marked at a certain distance then take the rad reading of station A and B with the instrument set up near A. Then take the rad reading of stations A and B with the instrument set up near B. Then determine the correct rad reading at A and B. So, let's try this example. Given the data of uh, rad reading of stations A and B with the instrument placed or set up at uh, station A and station B respectively. So, let's answer. 
what is required here in this problem is we are required to determine the rad reading on station A with the instrument on the same position of B. So first, we have to draw the figure. Uh, let's focus first when the instrument is at A or near A. Okay. So, say this is point A. Okay, we will put the, the peg there or our stacharad. Then, we will put our instrument near A because we cannot take a rad reading as well as the instrument in the same position given the rad and the instrument the same position. So, we just place or set up our instrument just beside that uh, station. So, let's say this is your instrument. Okay. And you take the rad reading and with the instrument at near E, we will have rad reading of 1.506 or simply the distance from the ground of 1.506. So, the advantage of putting the instrument uh, near the station or beside the station is, is that okay there is no error here when you have a reading station A but on the other hand station B we will have an error there assuming that our instrument has an error in the line of sight either going upward or downward so here I will assume that our instrument is uh, is going in an upward direction the line of sight is in upward error so based on the given rad reading we have 1.506 for rad reading at a and b is 2.024 so the value for rad reading on b is greater than the value of a so it means that uh, the elevation of station b is uh, lower than station A. So, I will just draw the surface of the ground to point B which is lower than point A. Then, draw another stadia and that's it. Take the reading. Okay. So, we draw first the line of sight. Okay. Let's draw the line of sight the correct horizontal line of sight which is this one be black. then after that uh, here my assumption is that the instrument is going upward there's an error in the line of sight so let's say that's the line of sight and of collimation this is the correct line the correct horizontal line of sight so the reading is 2.024 2.024 which means this is the distance which is 2.024 so since there is an error here I will put E so the horizontal level of, of point B which is this one if I were going to project an a horizontal line from point B going to point A this one okay then from that I can simply draw some dimensions in order for us to equate the values so from point A to point B that's the difference in elevation which is delta H now if we are going to make an equation in solving this problem, we only need to equate the sum of the rad reading at point A and the delta H or difference in elevation to the value for the correct rad reading at station B, which is 2.024 to be subtracted by the error. So, since this vertical distance is just equal to this vertical distance. So, 
Let's make an equation, 1.506 plus delta H is equals to 2.024 minus E. That's it. Then, delta H is equals to 2.024 uh, minus 1.506 minus E. Evaluate, delta H is equals to 2.024 1.506 is 0 0.518 0 0.518 minus E. This is equation number 1. For equation number 2, since we have two equations with two unknown, we have to make another equation. When we place the instrument at P, we can draw another figure. Instrument at B or the instrument near sta any station B. Okay, we can simply put or redraw the figure. But the instrument now is at station B. So this is for station A. Okay. This is station A. Then let's see this is again. This is station B. Okay. This is station B. And the rad reading. Okay, for that place the instrument near B. So, this is the level. So, again, uh, we our assumption is the error in line of sight is going upward. So, we draw again another line for the horizontal, the correct line of sight from the instrument. Then, Another line for the erroneous line of set or the line of collimation. So here we'll put some variables such as the error. So since uh, the distance between A and B is just the same, so when I place the instrument at B and they are equidistant. Therefore, their error is just the same. Or simply the right triangle that I will form when the instrument is at A is just the same to the right triangle that will be formed when the instrument is placed or set up at B. So they are just the same. Therefore, their errors are the same when the instrument is at B. So, draw again a horizontal line from point B, then draw the dimensions that can be used in making an equation. So, dimensions here, okay, of course the erroneous red reading when instrument is at B the rad reading at A is 0 0.938. So this is 0 0.938. And the rad reading at B is 1.449. So there's no error here. There's no error here since the instrument is near B. So delta H is just the same. Change in elevation is just the same since point A and B is fixed. So again, make an equation. We need what we need is this distance, the correct uh, rad reading, which is 0 0.938, to be subtracted by the error. So we will equate this vertical distance here and this one. So 0. 938 minus E plus delta H is equals to 1.449. We can make another equation which is 
delta H is equals to 1.449 minus 0 0.938 plus E. So, compute delta H is equals to 0 0.511 plus E. Now we have two equations with two unknowns. This is equation number two. Uh, we can substitute equation one to equation two. Substitute delta H or simply delta H is equal to delta H. We have okay, substitute one in equation two. Substitute 0 0.518 minus E is equals to 0 0.511 plus E. Therefore, okay, transpose 0 0.518 minus 0 0.511 is equals to E plus E or 2E is equals to 0 0.518 minus 0 0.511 511 is uh, so small 7 times 10 raised to negative 3 or 0 0.007 divided by 2 the error is equals to 0 point 0 point 0 0 0.0035 that's the error then, we can now compute the difference in elevation, delta H. We can use either equation 1 or equation 2. For delta H, we have delta H is equal to 0 0.511 plus E. 0 0.511 plus E is equal to E is 0 0.0035. Delta H compute 0 0.5145 so that's the answer so what is required is to determine the adjusted line of, or the red reading the correct red reading at station A when, when instrument is at B. So, we select this drawing, this figure, and we can now correct this red reading at A, which is this one. Therefore, zero, the correct red reading at A, so I will just write the correct red reading at A when instrument is at B is equals to 0 0.938 minus the error 0 0.0035 so the correct red reading is track 0 0.938 0 0.0035 0 0.9345 0 0.9345 that's the answer so if it is required to also determine the rad reading at at B when the instrument is at A we can just simply refer to this figure okay. kapag ito naman the correct rad reading at B when instrument is at A. So, 
is the correct rod reading this distance this distance from the from the correct line of sight to the surface of point B is 2.024 minus E which is 0 0.0035 0 0.0035 so, compute 2.024, 0 0.0035, 2.0205, So, that's also the answer. Now, this is the second method of two-peg test in trying to correct the error or the rad reading so here in our solution our answer for the error is positive which means our assumed line of sight which is going upward is correct but if it is wrong uh, we can just simply assume that our assumed direction is wrong or just substitute the value of e from our initial cal calculation and we, we will be able to uh, determine what is required or else you can redraw again the figure and make another solution so that ends our lecture thank you for watching on the second part of this module thank you and god bless